Los Angeles' 6th Street Viaduct is one of the most well-known bridges in the United States. Made famous by appearances in countless movies, TV shows, commercials, and music videos, the 1,066-meter-long structure was an engineering marvel when first constructed in 1932. Making use of an on-site plant to produce concrete during construction, it was later discovered that the concrete developed had a high alkali content. This led to alkali silica reactions taking place and cracks forming throughout the structure. Though the bridge underwent numerous costly restoration attempts over the years, no permanent solution to its problems was ever found. In 2004, a study of the structure revealed that it was seismically unstable and had a 70% chance of collapse during an earthquake in the next 50 years. With the bridge spanning the Los Angeles River, the 101 freeway, and numerous rail yards and local streets, Los Angeles authorities had no choice but to mark the historic structure for demolition and replace it with a bridge that could stand for 100 years in the face of LA's strongest earthquakes. After an international design competition in 2012, Michael Maltzan Architecture's design, dubbed the Ribbon of Light, was chosen to replace the 6th Street Viaduct structure. The new bridge features 10 pairs of illuminated concrete arches that pay homage to the earlier structure while enabling longer spans and fewer ground supports. This reduces the number of points that can be damaged in the event of an earthquake and opens up development opportunities beneath the bridge. Work to demolish the existing viaduct began in February 2016 and an estimated 37,000 cubic meters of concrete and 4,200 tons of steel were removed over the subsequent nine months. With the original structure demolished, work began on the new bridge. And in December 2017, erection of the false work that would support the new structure commenced. To support the arches and create the bridge's unique Y-bents, prefabricated false work is being trucked in from as far away as Indiana and Toronto. As concrete gives off heat as it cures, liquid nitrogen is poured into the concrete mixers during the summer months to control the temperature of the mix and prevent it from curing too quickly in the Los Angeles heat, which could lead to cracks forming on the finished structure. With the arches complete, the new road deck will be suspended by cables from these concrete structures. With Los Angeles located in an area of high seismic activity, the city has developed some of the world's most stringent building codes. To ensure that the new bridge remains standing in the event of a severe earthquake, engineers have worked to exceed the latest seismic safety codes. Along with its deep foundations and reinforced concrete arch design, the columns of the bridge have been fitted with seismic isolation bearings at their midpoints. The design of these bearings consists of three main parts, with each element able to separate and break free from the other once certain thresholds are reached. These bearings allow each of the columns of the bridge to move up to 76 centimeters or 30 inches during an earthquake event, with the bearings, rather than the bridge, absorbing the majority of the quake's energy. When the shaking stops, the internal concave shape of the bearings allows them to recenter themselves and return to the shallowest point within the bearing. By fitting the bridge with 26 of these isolation bearings, most of which have a diameter over 2 meters, around 6.5 feet, the bridge should be able to provide a high level of protection during a seismic event. When complete in 2020, the new 6th Street Viaduct will serve as a vital link in LA's vast road network, while opening up a large area beneath its structure to the wider community where 12 acres of new parkland, 
art installations and other community facilities are planned to reinvigorate the space. At a cost of 428 million US dollars, the largest bridge project in the city's history, and with its impressive architectural design that nods to the past whilst insulating the structure against seismic threats in the future, the new viaduct is firmly on its way to becoming an icon of Los Angeles. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, subscribe to the B1M.